Hey guys, what's going on? So this is going to be my top 20 favorite doom metal albums. Um, some of them I don't own because they're literally impossible to get or they haven't been even released on physical format. So like for example, Stonehelm would definitely be on this list. They're self-titled, but that one's just like impossible to get and there's like a several others. But um, for the most part, this is an accurate list. Um, it's not going to be in any order. It's just going to be random. But anyway, anyway, without further ado, we'll start with uh, Windhand, self-titled. I fucking love Windhand. Uh, this is my favorite by them, but everything they do is just absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, every song on here is just like pure Halloween. I love the production. Her vocals are just so ghastly. Uh, such a strong debut album. Uh, it was a toss-up between this and Eternal Return, which is just as good. If, um, but this one, it just the atmosphere in the production is um, unmatched, so I had to pick this one. And after that, some might say this isn't a doom metal band, but they've definitely influenced a lot of doom metal. So, October Rust by Typo Negative, easily their best album. I like it better than Bloody Kisses. It's more consistent. Um, it was like a I mean, like, In Praise of Bacchus, I feel like, is not a great song. I mean, it's, like, okay, but the other ones on here are just, like, no other band has ever achieved a sound like this. It's just, like, Peter Steele would say in his interviews, it's lush, it's invigorating, and um, just wants, you know, just makes you want Halloween to be every day. Uh, just an absolutely amazing album. All right, then after that, again, this is in no order. We have Sleep with Sleep's Holy Mountain. There's a toss up between this and The Sciences. I love The Sciences, but this album, I mean, again, it's a classic, you know, you got the Dragonaut, uh, Holy Mountain, you know, awesome cuts like that. Um, I love this album. I do prefer, say like, because in my experience, the big two in doom metal are at least like the stoner type doom metal is like this and electric wizard i do like electric wizard a little better just because i like the filthiness of it but these guys are awesome great riffs bluesy gotta love al and matt pike you know then after that is man if we wizard bastard with i don't know how to say that <laughs> why prof would dwell it's their second album absolutely amazing album again i love everything these guys do their latest album which came out i think last year maybe is so fucking good but this one is i like that it's short it, well it's not short but it's short in the sense that there's only six songs and all the songs are just oh, so fucking good the production on here is amazing it's done by the uh what's his name chris fielding from conan uh, just amazing amazing production I lo her vocals are just angelic I love this shit. Great fucking band. I know the band name is like ridiculous sounding, but if you haven't checked this out, check these guys out. Um, moving on, we have Zoroaster with Matador. Um, I don't like everything these guys have done, and this is the last album they released before they kind of like went on a hiatus or whatever the fuck they're on right now. But again, every song on here is amazing. I love the guitar tone. I love the leads. The vocals are super weird. I mean, they do a lot of layering, but it's really, really cool style. Um, I, the last song, the title track, is so fucking good. Like, the psychedelic parts in that are, like, I could listen to that for, like, an hour. It's an absolutely amazing album if you haven't checked this out. Really good stuff. Then after that, this is kind of a uh, rare gem. And this is actually an EP, but I figured it's over 30 minutes, so I didn't include it. Like, whatever. But this is a uh, first album by Holy Mount. Uh, it's called We Fell From The Sky. Uh, I was fortunate enough to get this on CD back when it came out. Because now I think it's just completely... I don't even think you can get a copy. Any, not even like on Discogs. But uh, yeah, amazing, amazing album. Um, Black Sabbath influenced Doom, but the production is really unique. The vocals are very etheric. And then the, the best part about this album is the psych guitars and the leads are just so infectious and so catchy. It's only five songs, but it's amazing. Um, this and the one after it, Alpic, are fantastic. And then the two after that are kind of eh. But 
yeah, this album's absolutely amazing. One of, this, my friends and I used to listen to this all the fucking time, and it still holds up. So check this out, Holy Mount, We Fell From The Sky. Moving on, we have another kind of random one. This is the first album by Herder. H-E-R-D-E-R. -E and it's called, that's self-titled. And I love, like, the, um... I love the fuck you attitude of this album. I always listen to this if I'm in, like, a bad mood or I just... Or even, like, if I'm in the woods and I want to get something done, like, uh, as far as fort building or shelter making, stuff like that. Love, love, love this album. I get the guitar work, the riffs are just absolutely on point. Uh, again, it's just that fuck you, wanted, like, chug whiskey atmosphere that I love. I also love the album art. It's fucking awesome. And, um, yeah, the drummer from Urfos plays in this band, or he did, at least. And um, so this album's amazing. The one... Every, everything else they did kind of fell off for me, but yeah, this one, true fucking gem. Moving on, we have Forming the Void with Rift. This is another random one, and it's another band where it's like, all the other stuff they've put out, I'm kind of a little lukewarm on, but for some reason, this album, man, is so fucking catchy and infectious. I mean, you got songs like On We Sail, Arcane Mystic, the last song, the way it en the way the last song ends is so fucking cool and creative. Uh, the vocals are kind of similar to like a typo negative style. They're very soaring, messianic style. But yeah, crushing album. I love it. Production's perfect. Definitely check this album out if you haven't already. Forming the Void Rift. And then here's a classic. Next up, we have Master of Reality by Black Sabbath. This was a toss-up. This was really hard between this and paranoid i love both these albums so much but um i mean into the void after forever solitude children of the uh, this album is just perfect and i i also do like a lot how it's um it's fairly short it's only like 35 minutes but like every song on here is just so fucking good i think if i hadn't heard pretty much every song in paranoid like 10 billion times i might have chosen paranoid but this one I don't know, the songs are more timeless, in my opinion, than Paranoid. So, fantastic fucking album. And after that, we have Cough with Still We Pray. Oh, God, I fucking love this album, man. It was produced by Jess Osborne, the Electric Wizard dude. Um, every song on here is just memorable, timeless, uh, very dark, and... Uh, it's kind of got like a Halloween-ish atmosphere, but uh, I love the vocals. I like that the clean vocals too. Um, yeah, just an amazing, amazing album. It's sim a little similar to Wind Hand in some respects. Uh, this is easily their best album, and um, yeah, I fucking love this album. After that, we have Amplifier Worship by Boris. This was another tough one to. Um, this was another tough one to uh, narrow down with Boris because they have so many fucking good albums. I mean, like, the U.S. version of Smile, I fucking love. Akuma no Uda. What else do they got over there? Pink, obviously. I also, like, Flood is fucking amazing, but I can't fucking find that anywhere. Um, yeah, they have just so many good albums. This album might be my favorite by them. Um, just a drone metal masterpiece. There's so many creative parts on here. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, you can't go wrong with Boris. I'm seeing them in September play uh, Heavy Rocks in its entirety, and I can't wait. But yeah, this is an amazing, amazing album. And after that, we have Bong Ripper with Satan Worshipping Doom. What an absolute masterpiece. And to be honest, I'm not huge on instrumental, really anything, bands that are instrumental. Like, I like, like, Pelican and stuff like that, but not to the extent that, like... I love Bong Ripper. I, every song here is engaging. So fucking heavy. And it's so... Oh, man. I, again, the psych parts are so fucking cool. The third song, Worship, is just an absolute, absolute masterpiece from, from the beginning. I mean, every song here is amazing. Um, yeah, I was fortunate enough to get this on CD back when it came out. I uh, love the artwork. Fucking great shit. After that... We have Alistair with Black Magic. I like everything by these guys. I especially love Slave to the Grave. That's a fantastic album. But something about this, and again, it comes down to the atmosphere, and this is technically an EP, but it's over 30 minutes, so 
you know, I included it. Um, it's only three songs, but God, man, the production and like his vocal style, especially on this release, is so fucking like sends shivers down your spine. It's clean vocals, but God damn it, I can sing, man. And the songwriting on each of these songs, just just amazing shit, amazing shit, amazing band, really. Every like I said, everything they've done. I also really like the EP that came out after this. Um, it's the one with like blood on Satan's claw. I got that on cassette when it first came out. That's a fucking amazing, amazing EP. It's only two songs, but but yeah, this one amazing release. Check these guys out if you haven't already. And then after that, this was super, super tough because these got every album by these guys is just ugh. Acid King three. I almost. This just went over Bussy Woods because I actually listened to this recently. I was like, every fucking song on here is so good. <laughs> and like, I love Bussy Woods, but I feel like there's certain parts in that album that are kind of like, not certainly not bad. That album's an absolute masterpiece, but they kind of drag on. Like the, the um, title track, Bussy Woods, the instrumental, it's like, it's very good but it's not like as amazing as the songs on here. And also 39 Lashes off Bussy Woods is kind of like, you know, it's a good interlude. But this album, I mean, you got Two Wheel Nation, Bad Vision, War of the Mind, Onto Ever After. I mean, just, I mean, one of the best doom metal, top five easily. I absolutely love this band. The, the, their album that they came out this year, they came out with this year, it, I, it's a contender for album of the year. It's, I can't say enough good things about it. I can't say enough good things about this band. Fucking check this out if you haven't already. After that, this is a this is a staple. Dope Throne. Everyone knows Dope Throne. I mean, what what else do I have to say? I, I mean, I the Witch Finder, fucking Weird Tales, Funeralopolis, um, the title track, just absolutely amazing shit, man. I, the psychedelic parts on there are just some of the best psychedelic moments you'll ever hear period from like anything just absolutely amazing 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 album but it was a toss-up between like you know uh come by fanatics is also amazing uh which cult today i love that super coven ep too but again that's a really hard one to find unless you want to spend top dollar but anyway after that Domcraft with Seeds. This was a toss-up between this album and the one before it, whatever the fuck it's called, Flood, I think. Yeah, that's a really, really good album. But this one just takes the whole psychedelic thing to a whole new level. Um, and the songwriting is just super, like, headbanging-inducing. Uh, I fucking love this album. <laughs> and it's cool. It comes with, like, glasses, so you can, like, look at the psychedelic artwork. And it's, like, those 3D glasses. I don't know. It's pretty sweet but yeah again every song in here is just absolutely amazing um this is another band where everything by these guys is amazing i can't wait for the fucking album this year i have it pre-ordered so eagerly waiting that but yeah domcraft seeds fucking good shit after that this is um like <sighs> might be my favorite album of all time it's definitely in my top three and for those of you who know me i think you know it's coming but uh yeah Conference of the Birds by Om. Um, it does not, it does not get any better than this, and it still doesn't even to this day. I remember being blown away when I first heard this. I think I'm twenty, twenty-one, maybe even younger. And to this day, twelve, thirteen years later, it's still like one of the best pieces of music ever written. Period. It's only two songs, but goddamn, man. I mean, fucking forget sleep. <laughs> This is the fucking shit, man. Ugh. I can't say enough good things about this, so I'll just move on. After that is, so I have three more here. The latest one by Resin. I was really blown away by this album. And I love everything these guys do. I have everything by them, but this one really, really, they really stepped it up with the production. It's, the production is fucking flawless. His vocals sound amazing. <coughs> I love the first song, how heavy it gets towards the end. The song Possession is amazing. Stasis is like one of the best songs they've ever written. And I love the way it ends too. There's even like some blast beats in there. Um, yeah, this album is just phenomenal. I was really blown away by it. This and Acid King of this year are just like, holy shit, man. 
great shit. Then after that, this this is probably a hot take for some people. Weed Eater, 16 tons. I like this better than Godspeed. I do. Godspeed is an amazing album, but this one, I just like it better. Again, it has that fuck you attitude, chug whiskey, fucking walk down the train tracks and all that kind of app. It's fucking awesome. Every song on here is just incredible. Love the Southern um, atmosphere. Bull, Potbelly, they still play Time Served in their live sets. I wish they would play this album in its entirety. I'm kind of sick of seeing Godspeed, or, yeah, what the fuck is it called again? I just, God Luck and Good Speed or whatever. I'm kind of sick of seeing those songs live. <laughs> I've seen them so many times. It's a great album, don't get me wrong, but this one's better, and yeah, that's definitely the best in this style of genre. And then last but not least, last but certainly not least, this is another gem that I'm sure a lot of people don't know about. This is by a Russian band called Kamni with their second album. Uh, it's called Adam. It's an acronym for Atmospheric Tribal Orient Oriental Meditation, if I remember correctly. But yeah, this was another one my friends and I used to listen to all the fucking times. Still holds up. Absolutely, absolutely amazing album. As soon as I saw they released this on vinyl, I jumped on it immediately. Because I don't think this band has any of their other releases on physical format. And it's kind of hard. To, I, well, you could definitely listen to this on YouTube. But like, they don't have a Spotify or anything. They're a really rare band. And most of their stuff, if not all of it, is really, really good. So I highly recommend check, checking these guys out if you haven't already. Super psychedelic. Um, a lot of electric wizard influence. Vocals are amazing. Um, yeah, just a great band. So yeah, that's that's it for my list. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what albums I might have been missing or whatever. A um, couple honorable mentions from my uh, um, collection. Uh, you know, I love Conan, but I feel like their albums are a little like inconsistent. Uh, also, the second, no, third album by Big Brave would have been up there. Blood of the Black Owl, the second album by them is amazing. Uh, there's a couple that I miss, and like I said, Stonehelm. If I had Stonehelm, that would be in this. I fucking love that album. If you haven't listened to Stonehelm, check out Stonehelm. Uh, they only made one album, but it's amazing. So anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later.